Mystery was made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. In the run-up to Halloween, we started looking in the archives for items that were particularly mysterious, intriguing, and even spooky. Now, for me, as someone who loves drawing and illustration, Halloween always makes me think of the work of artist Edward Gorey. So this week, I'm particularly excited to take a look at WGBH's own Gorey collaboration. Welcome to WGBH's The Rewind, where each week we explore the public media archives where history is preserved, online and in the vault. Edward Gorey was one of my favorite artists growing up, along with Charles Adams and Gary Larson. So this week we want to know, who's your favorite artist? Let us know in the comments or on Twitter with the hashtag WGBHRewind. So this week we'll be meeting with Lynn Mason, a senior researcher with WGBH Media Archives, who scoured the archive to help bring this very special Halloween episode of The Rewind to life. We'll be taking a look at some set miniatures and an animation that will look very familiar to fans of Gory. Let's take a look. So I'm here today with senior researcher Lynn Mason. Uh, thank Thanks. you so much for joining us, Lynn. Thanks for having me, Ben. So we've got some amazing stuff here. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Well, this is the set that was designed by Edward Gorey in 1979 uh, for the premiere season of Mystery. And Mystery is a series that still runs today. And they still actually use various iterations of this set. So this was serving as a guide for, for the entire set that they would set up, and these were the pieces that would... These are just some of the pieces okay. there. It's fully modular. There are mm -hmm. hundreds of pieces that you can put together and mix and match in a billion different ways to get different environments, depending upon the host or depending upon the topic of the mystery episode that week. And so I understand we have something special from the 10 year anniversary of the show, correct? We do. This poster was created and included many uh, of people's favorite characters from the mystery series, beginning with Rumpole, Inspector Morse, Miss Marple, Sherlock Holmes, Campion, and Faro. Oh, wow. Oh, this is just beautiful. So how does something like this connect with the animations in the series introduction? Well, in addition to creating the sets, uh, Gory was asked to create an open for the program. Well-regarded animator Derek Lamb was brought in to take Gory's drawings and augment them with some of his own and create the opening animation that you see on Mystery. of the original set survived. Look at the painting hanging over the fireplace. And you'll see this. Oh and this God. is the one that hung over the fireplace on this the real set. Wow. We also have a tombstone left over from the original set. Oh. Right there. And you can imagine that has anybody's name on it you want. Well, this is just the perfect thing for Halloween. So thank you so much for taking the time to show me. Um, my pleasure. Happy Halloween, Happy Ben. Happy Halloween. Well, today's adventure into the archives definitely got me in the mood for Halloween. You can check out the latest mysteries from Masterpiece on WGBH Passport. And if you found this week's episode interesting, just head to openvault.wgbh.org to explore more mysterious goodness. Let us know what you find in the comments below or on Twitter with the hashtag WGBHRewind. Thanks again for unwinding with the Rewind, and we'll see you next week in the archives. <laughs>